Okay, so what we're going to go over is we're going to go over 1.4, number 14, and it says determine which function will be increasing faster when x is very large. And so whenever they're talking about increasing faster, they're kind of talking about the slope, right? So which one of these has a has a bigger slope? And then here it's it's got to be g, right? And the reason why it has to be g is because if I if I look, it's almost like, um, yeah, someone said it goes like the line goes up faster, right? So that's exactly right. If this was a race, right? And this was the finish line. Do you see how this person only took like two seconds to finish it versus this person took, I don't know, six or five or whatever. So this one is, this one has a higher, um, a bigger slope. That's what they mean by faster. In this one, what do you guys think? Very good, Lisa, by the way. Um, in this one, what do you think? Who, who is faster, D of X or H of X? Very good. Um, it's D of X. D of X is faster. Actually, some people had written H and I'll, let me explain it. So this says for X being very, very large. So if you continue this all the way out here, right? So maybe X is a thousand. Do you see how D would be higher up here-ish versus H is just going the same. So for those of you who said, said H, I understand why you're saying that. It's because it's higher right here. But here it says for X being very, very large. So you're thinking all the way out here if the graph continued, right? And so that's why D of X, because D of X is going to be um, above H of X. Does that make sense? Very good. So D of X is bigger. Very good. Because it's higher. Perfect. 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 Perfect.